Hey what's up guys, welcome back to another video, hope you're doing good. I am currently working on 3D printing chocolate and it proves to be quite a challenge. So I figured that I would just stop for a while and do something else. Now I 3D printed these swim baits a while ago and they are completely 3D printed. This is with twinkling grey, I believe it's called, twinkling grey PLA. So it looks really good. Now I was thinking since I got a raft as you may have seen in the last video, I was thinking that we could go out and see if we can catch a fish on 3D printed swim baits. I think that would be quite cool. Fishing is, is a passion of mine. All we have to do is get some hooks on the baits. This one I think looks really good. This one was painted. Get some hooks on and uh, yeah, let's do it. But before we do, I have some footage that I shot probably a month ago. So let's play that right now. Man, it's bright today. Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to another video. Today I am starting this video right where we ended the last RC airboat video at this beautiful pond. And to give you some context to why I'm here again, last time I was here shooting that video, I saw some pretty good fish. So I brought down the boys here to try to catch some and sure enough, we managed to catch a few really good ones. So that sparked my interest to 3D printed lures or fishing baits and that's what I've done here. I have a couple that I made with a new dual 3D printer that lets me do two colors or even two filaments. As you can see, I've used both PLA and flexible filament on this one. He kind of looks like a worm, doesn't he? So I'll call him Sherm. Sherm, Sherm the worm. <laughs> And here we have them all finished up. I spray painted the fin red, cause why not? Personally, I feel this one looks better. The design is just crazy. I, I have much higher hopes of something like this than the ones I designed. This one I took from Thingiverse. They have such a realistic motion. So let's just pack this stuff and head out. Eventually. This uh, location, this lake is called Sjölanda. It's pretty close to where I live and uh, it's just breathtakingly beautiful out here. And uh, what I wanted to show you was how the swim bait looks in the water because it's absolutely sick. That is how it tracks in the water, absolutely beautiful. Okay, we have officially started. This is exciting. Oh, oh, I got one.
There he is. Probably a pike. Oh. Seriously? Oh man, what happened? I caught one, that's what happened, almost at least. So I caught it on this one. That's great news because it means that they work. It means that they get attention to the fish. It means that they do bite on these, which is really cool. Unfortunately, I didn't manage to get the pike, which it was a pike on maybe like 1.5 kilograms. Uh, unfortunately, I didn't get it up. And you don't have to comment about how I keep my rod or, or if I did something wrong, how I could avoid the pike from actually jumping up in the air, which I know is, is not good. I don't know about that stuff. 3D printed swim baits, looks good. They work well. Fantastic. Today is gonna be a good day. Day two, yesterday was quite frustrating. Other than the jumping pike, I did have quite a few hook-ons, is that what you call them? How many times was that the bait just catching the bottom? I don't know. At least two of those times were actual fish. Unfortunately, they didn't hook all that great. Here's my reactions of it. I missed it. Oh yeah. Come on. I guess the underlying tone of today's fishing is going to be optimistic. The weather is certainly better, so that helps. So let's catch that fish. Yeah, there's something. There's something. Det är satt There we have him. Let me get the DSLR going so we can get a close up before we release him back. Beautiful perch on the 3D printed lure. That's awesome. Let's release him back, okay? There he goes. Yep, that's up done. Oh, this is a much better one. Oh, that's a pike. That sure is a pike. Oh, that's beautiful. A big, nice pike. Again, on the silver one, that surprises me. All the other hooks has been on the other one. Nice close-ups on that pike. And there he goes. Woo. Well, that worked way, way better than I expected. So where I think this one really paid off was that I threw the printed this with 100% infill. So it basically means that there's no air inside of it. It's just a solid piece of plastic, which means that it would go a bit deeper, which I think was a win in this case. Colorization, I don't know. It, it kind of looks like this fish that I know a lot of this fish feeds on. That could be a part of this, why this one was successful. Um, 
Okay, I'm just gonna get some drone footage for you guys and I'll be out of here. Hope you enjoyed today's video. Please leave a like if you did and have an awesome day. Bye.